It is the beginning of 2023 and I finally tried enough skincare products and hair care products to make this video. That's right, this is 2023's first skincare and hair care empties. If this sounds like your thing, stick around. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Let's get right into this video. My skin type is oily, sensitive, dehydrated, and what is the last one? Reactive. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna start with hair care products for this video because I only have three hair care products that I really want to talk about. And I'm gonna try to keep every single like description or commentary on each product short because this is an empties video. It's not really like a review or whatever. Okay, so the first product we're gonna talk about, and I'm sorry, it looks really funky and gross because it's been in my shower and you know how sometimes when you are in the shower and you keep your products there and they just start to accumulate this kind of brownish, reddish gunk around your hair care products. That's what happened here and um, I just didn't even wanna clean it because I'm like, I'm throwing this out anyway, so there's no point to just clean it just for the video. This is Nineless's Daily Intense Nourishing Conditioner. This is a vegan low pH formula and it's supposed to restore hydration to your hair. At first when I used this, I didn't really notice that kind of like moisturizing, hydrating result. However, as I kept using it, I noticed that it's really easy to rinse off and after rinsing it off or after I keep it on for about a minute or a minute and a half, depending on what song I'm listening to in the shower, I would notice this really softness and soft texture to my hair. This one is the Rich Argan Hair Oil or Essence Oil by Nard. Originally, I purchased this because Style Cream was heavily promoting it and I saw Nasha use this at one point. She's one of the marketers at Style Cream. I was interested because at the time they were launching this product, I was already using Nineless's Essence Oil or Oil Essence. It has a long name, I forgot what it's called. But then I saw this and this is much more affordable than the Nineless Hair Essence. So I picked it up to give it a try because I'm like, in case I don't have the funds for Nineless, I would like to have an alternative. However, comparing this to Nineless's, the formulation for this one is so much thicker and it's not like the good kind of thicker. It's like feels heavy on my hair, a lot more breakouts because I use this because sometimes when bangs would, you know, go my face and then products would get into my skin. I wouldn't say I would never recommend this hair essence to anyone because I feel like there is a demographic for this but if your hair is already very thick and you have a lot of volume already I wouldn't say you need this essence oil at all but if your hair is thinner and it's easily dried out this is a really good option for you because it really locks in a lot of that moisture in your hair. Okay the next product is the Hair Tonic by Tosong. This is like their best selling product, at least in my eyes, because every time I go on Yes Style or Style Korean, I see this product only, and I don't feel like they promote a lot of their skincare products, which they do have. At the beginning of 2020, I noticed my hair loss has been increasing, especially like around this area. And I felt my hair thinning out much quicker. And because I already have like Asian hair, Asian hair is very straight, thin naturally. You really need to like really take care of your Asian hair to get really thick volume and really thick um, width of each strand. And genetically, my parents don't have like naturally voluminous hair. So I knew that my hair would also thin out very quickly at a very young age. And so I bought this just to kind of keep my hair maintenance in order because I feel like if I don't do that, then it's gonna lead to hair loss much quicker. Hair loss is really like, everyone loses hair, right? It's not like no one ever loses hair. Like when you shower, you're definitely gonna see strands of hair clumped up at the drain, but it's a matter of like how much you lose in one wash, right? And the average person loses about 100 strands of hair per day, and that's a lot if you think about it. Plus, as you age, your hair follicles are much weaker, and so they don't produce as many hair strands within one follicle. What I liked about this tonic is that it does keep my scalp in a healthy state so that it can produce more hair strands within each hair follicle. In terms of hair falling out, I don't think this tonic actually helps in that. I think when they claim this to be like a hair loss care, it's really like preventative and nourishing care for your scalp. Let me know if you want me to do like a deeper dive into hair care products because I've definitely 
done a lot of research over the past three years because of my personal hair problems, yeah, let me know. All right, we're gonna move on to skincare now, and I'm gonna start with the first step of all our skincare routines, which is cleanser. This is Cosrx's low pH good morning gel cleanser, and I've definitely talked about this cleanser in multiple videos on the channel. You guys probably are tired of me talking about it, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but essentially it is a very gentle cleanser that you can use day and night, but I personally like using this in the morning because because it is super easy to rinse off. I don't know if it's just my cleanser, but this twist cap and the, the flip cap, I have issues with the product leaking out. And I have another one in my stash that I'm gonna start using after I finish testing my current products that I'm testing for another video, but I'll let you know if it's the case because I feel like this might just be like an isolated issue. For me, at least this product, this one right here, the cap had a lot of issues in terms of like leakage. I kept it on my cabinet and the next day I noticed like a puddle of the cleanser just sitting around the cap. All right, so I talked about my favorite morning cleanser. I'm gonna talk about my favorite nighttime cleanser, but also a cleanser that I love using in the shower. And that is, of course, Innisfree's Brightening Pore Facial Cleanser. It has a very creamy texture. I say this is my favorite in-shower facial cleanser because when I'm under running water, I can easily emulsify this cleanser really quickly versus when I'm washing my face over the sink. It has a semi-pasty but like more of a creamy texture to it and it does have like that Teju Hala Bone scent which is really refreshing and it does a job really well like I'm in the shower and I have you know sunscreen on or whatever and I noticed that this cleanser really does keep my skin especially my pores clean. I have two more I think one I gave to my mom and the other one I have in my backup so I'm excited to start using that one because this one has done me wonders in the shower. So the next category I have is exfoliants and it's not really like, like a serious exfoliant, it's more like it, it's a peeling gel. And I feel like peeling gels for me are in between physical and chemical exfoliant because technically they are a chemical formulation that causes a reaction on your skin to exfoliate your skin. However, peeling gels also have this ingredient in there that causes the product to clump up into little gel balls that helps massage and remove the dead skin on your face. In that sense, that's kind of like a physical exfoliant. Anyway, so the one I'm talking about today is Pyeong Kang Yu's Peeling Gel. I was so mad when I purchased this because I bought this on Amazon and I purchased this in 2020. I just noticed like a few months ago that this product expires in 2020. So I was actually really mad that Amazon still does this where they have sellers sell nearly expired products for retail price. And I remember purchasing this for I think $10, it was like on sale. At the time, I didn't know that Amazon does that, so I'm really cautious when I shop on Amazon, and I hope you guys are cautious too. And I was dumb enough not to notice it, but I purchased this in August of 2020, and when this arrived, the expiration date here says October 16th, 2020. So basically, I had two months to use it. Knowing me, I test so many skincare products, I kept this on the shelf until maybe like a year ago, and I finally opened it, and I'm like, why did this expire two years ago? This peeling gel isn't as effective I want to say compared to like the other peeling gels I've tried in the past and I say that because the little silicone slash jelly residue that's supposed to form on your face when you are massaging your skin there isn't much of it and I was kind of disappointed because you know me I'm a huge Pyeong Kang Yul fan I'm a Pyeong Kang Yul boy and I swear by this brand I swear by their products but there are a few products from this brand that I'm just like it's really not it and it's their Ato Mild Sun Cream and this peeling gel it's just it didn't do anything for me i'm sorry definitely not going to purchase this ever again for sure not from amazon moving on to toners a very popular category in skincare because toners have been made very popular by Korean skincare because they take toners very seriously. But I would say Japanese skincare also has a big hand in why toners are widely popular in skincare nowadays. So the first toner we have is by Tone28. This is the pH balancing toner. I have this one in 100 milliliters. I believe they sell it in 200 mils now. It does contain a version, I want to say, of vitamin C. I can't I don't remember if it's ethyl ascorbic acid or ascorbic acid, but it is very gentle. But they still manage to keep this toner in a brown tinted bottle in case 
it does um, oxidize, which it didn't, honestly. I kept it in my cabinet. I didn't have to keep it in the fridge. It was still fresh for about a year. What I like about Tone 28 is just that they are very true to making sure that their products are not polluting the environment even more. The aluminum twist cap is recyclable. The glass bottle is also recyclable and reusable. And this paper labeling, just remove it and you can recycle the glass bottle easily instead of having to rip off stickers. A beautiful toner that I love using every day, every morning, every night. I would say that this toner's best selling point is that it is a pH balancing toner. It does even your skin complexion very well. It's also very hydrating, but I wouldn't say like it's the best at hydrating. And I would definitely repurchase this because I need this in my life. Okay, moving on to the next toner. This is also a pH balancing toner and I feel like this product came out around the same time as this one. So it makes sense like Korean skincare really rides the trends like to the bone So if one brand is like oh, we're doing pH balancing another brand and like 15 other brands would be like We're also doing pH balancing. This is Hamish's all clean low pH balancing vegan toner They say this is a pH of 5.5, which is perfect for all skin types. This toner is super hydrating. The reason why I grab this toner every night on my cabinet is because of the hydrating property. It's also like many other toners, pH balancing, which means if I use this as soon as I rinse my face off from using a cleanser, my skin won't feel irritated. It would feel replenished. It goes on very easily on my skin because my skin absorbs it very easily as well. This is definitely one of my favorite Hamish products and I feel like this is the first Hamish product I've ever tried. So the next toner we have is by Centellian 24 Plus. This is the Medeca Relief Toner. I finally finished it or I think there's like maybe two drops left, but I couldn't get it out of the bottle, so it's like whatever. It's very hydrating. It is one of the most hydrating toners I've ever used. It is thick. It's not like your typical very watery consistency. It is like a thick water. It's almost like syrup, I wanna say. I think that's the best way to put it. Like a watery version of syrup, that's what this toner feels like. What I use this toner for is to kind of calm my skin because it is very rich in Centella Asiatica. Let's say you come out of the shower and your face is starting to lose that moisture already. I would just immediately put on this toner while I dry myself down and my skin would still feel hydrated by the time I reach for my next product. So it's a really good bridge between hydration and moisture. All right, the next toner, you guys are gonna be so proud of me for finishing this because it took me a lifetime, okay? And you see me using this in almost every single one of my, you know, vlogs or whatever. This is Pyongyang Yu's Calming Deep Moisture Toner. This is a Centella Asiatica driven skincare range by Pyongyang Yu. But these products are very similar in my opinion, except that this product is super thick. This product is super, super watery. This one has somewhat of a faint scent to it, which is the only reason why I'm like, ooh, I don't really like using this, but I would still use it because of the hydration. This one, on the other hand, has no scent. It is just such a beautiful toner. I especially love using this toner during the summertime because it is very thin, very lightweight. You won't feel it on your skin. Just a beautiful toner and I have a whole review on my channel if you guys want to find out more about this. Next category is of course moisturizers. How can I not talk about this product after talking about Pyongyang Yul's Calming Deep Moisture Toner? That's right guys, this is Pyongyang Yul's Calming Moisture Barrier Cream. It took me a long time to get used to this cream because I'm so used to Pyongyang Yul's Moisture Cream, which is thick, rich, buttery, glides on my skin like velvet dreams. But this one was kind of like the opposite. It is very much like a, a water burst cream. I definitely use this a lot more during the summertime because in the summer I like using more lightweight moisturizers because I'm already sweating a lot. But I ended up loving using this moisture cream just throughout the year because whenever I feel like I need a very basic, simple, non-irritating, no fuss moisturizer, I go for this one. This is iUnique Centella Calming Gel Cream. And I was recommended this product by Beauty Within. I was watching their videos and they were talking about like moisturizers for oily skin. My relationship with moisturizers in the past, you guys probably already know, 
is that I don't have a really good relationship with moisturizers. As an oily skin person, it's really hard to find a moisturizer that works well with your skin because you don't want to be adding another layer of like greasiness to your skin because oily skin people, we're just tired of looking greasy on camera, in pictures. So the last thing we need is to look greasy on a daily basis. And this is one of the more affordable gel creams out there. I think it retails for 12 and you can always get it for like nine or $10. So I liked using it for sure sure but ever since I tried other watery gel creams I kind of forgot about iUnique's gel cream here because it's not super memorable it has fragrance florally peachy is it peachy no it's more like a like a fresh herb scent and from time to time when I do need that calming gel cream I would use this product again I do have another backup of this which I haven't opened yet and I don't know if I'll ever get to opening it because I have so many other products to test now next up is another product that I purchased through Amazon and I'm just curious because it's always Amazon guys it's always Amazon and this is why I shop at Style Korean at Yes Style Ohali or Olali Olali is it Ohali or Olali I used to shop at Olali but they're super expensive like they mark up their products like super high up and I stopped shopping from them because it's like but this is Cosrx's Ultimate Moisturizing Honey Overnight Mask. <sighs> I love this product so much, but this expired and I stopped using it because it started to feel stingy on my skin. And I think I have like this much left. This was one of the first Cosrx products I've ever used. And I just remember loving it so much because this acts as a really good summertime night moisturizer because you can wear this to bed as your final step to really lock in everything. And because I love propolis, I love honey as an ingredient, it just works really well and it's very lightweight. However, I think I stopped using this when I was sent Cosrx's Full Fit Propolis products and I loved those even more. And I would say this is kind of like the budget version of the Full Fit Propolis line. Like for sure, Full Fit Propolis by Cosrx is like one of their best sellers. This one, it's not bad either, okay? It, it's definitely not as great texture wise, but for those of us who are like, you know, we have a tight budget or like we have a small budget, this is a pretty good um, overnight mask to have in your routine as a final step at night. Okay, the next product I have for you guys, I'm really sad because they discontinued this product so I can't even tell you guys where to get this. But it is a Pew's 18 Moisture Cream and I've definitely talked about this in my top 10 moisturizers for oily skin in the past. I still feel the same way about this product and I can't get this anymore. I'm so sad I can't buy this anymore. This was such a value deal because it is 85 mils and I believe you can get this for like $8. I purchased this through Yes Style, I believe. It is so good. It is so good because even though it is designed for normal to dry skin, it is a light formulation. It sits on your skin very lightly, gently. You don't feel it on your skin, but it does still lock in that moisture that you really need, especially for all skin types. Down to our last moisturizer and last products of this video. It is Sumbami's Aha Baha Paha 30 Day Miracle Cream. I think I've mentioned this product in many videos already so I'm not going to talk too much about this. It smells very minty so I don't know if you guys care about that. I personally don't. It still smells very minty in here but it's already empty. I personally had like an emotional attachment to it because it did help me in a very rough time. I don't know if you guys remember my review of this product in the past but literally as I was testing this product out, I developed this really huge pimple. Is it this side? Yeah, I think it's this side. Really large pimple in this nose area. At the time I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to record this because it's like, you know, it's not pretty to look at. And then I was like, oh, I should have recorded it because then I can tell everyone that it actually worked. So what I ended up doing was I would take like a large amount of this and just spot treatment it right on the area where the pimple is and I would go to bed. The next day, it's as if this cream had just miraculously squeezed the the pimple itself and just matured it overnight and it just pushed it to the surface i didn't even have to like break skin or anything it did the job for me and all i remember doing was like i was washing my face and i used like my microfiber towel to dry my face and then suddenly like i see it on my towel and i'm like what is that and i was like oh my gosh it's the pimple it was like a gigantic like meteorite that was wedged in my nose and this moisturizer removed it for me just like that i think i used it for just three days three days and four nights maybe i don't remember 
when I tell you I was shocked because I didn't believe in the fact that they called it a miracle cream because I'm like, I hate marketing talks like that. It's like, oh, miracle this, miracle that. You and I both know that there's no such thing as miracles in skincare. It's really about building that habit. However, I was shook. And ever since then, I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna keep you around, I'm gonna keep you around. And so I would use this moisturizer on a daily basis to kind of like just calm my skin, even my skin tone. It really helps prevent acne. Like I haven't really gotten like major cystic acne in the past and I haven't really developed any like major skin irritation where I'm just like itchy all over the place. So if you are someone who easily turns red because of like um, topical dermatitis or someone who has like rosacea or someone who gets inflammation really easily which leads to acne I would say give this a try I feel like it's not super affordable I would say like it's in the $18 bracket but style crane always has sales like regardless so you can always pick this up for very very cheap price well that is it for this video I hope you guys found this video to be helpful entertaining interesting let me know in the comments below if you've already tried any of these products or if any of these products have been an interest for you but you just never really went about getting it because you just simply didn't know enough about it in that case I do hope this video helps you kind of sort out your feelings about these products but if there are any products from this video that you are truly interested in and you want a link to shop for it i will definitely answer your question via a comment and i'll probably just give you a link in the comment section or something whatever works easiest for the both of us okay we're gonna try to make things hard for each other okay life is already hard we're trying to calm down get cozy and be chill you know what i'm saying please help the channel grow by subscribing and sharing this video with your friends thank you so much for watching this video I'll see you guys next time, but until then, be safe, stay hydrated, and most importantly, be gentle with yourself. Annyeong! Come back for more! Chuseyo!